Hello everybody, this here is the Happy Cammy, and this is a video for the Facepalm Response Channel. On with me today is uh, My Reality Bites, and My Reality Bites, say hello. Hey guys. She's the one that alerted me to this video, and was actually able to uh, point out a lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about, but... Uh, Spike Bravo, the, the real Nick Bravo here, uh, apparently has found a place to live, uh, which is good, except the place that he has um, taken up residence is not somebody's house. Uh, this is not Caesar Belarus's house. This is a model house that is uh, basically shown to prospective buyers whenever a, a new housing community is being built, and we're going to explain that for you. Uh, first off, now the beginning shot is himself in the uh, the bathroom mirror. Uh, you see brand new candles, never been used before, and behind him you see a completely vacant bedroom. Now uh, let's go ahead and just uh, play the video that uh, you see right over here. Now over here you see the shower, completely clean and pristine, no soap in the uh, the soap dish whatsoever. Um, now, this here could possibly very well be a guest bathroom that is just not used that often. However, if this was a guest bathroom, uh, why is there no furniture in the guest bedroom? Uh, you know, I mean, there's not even toilet paper in there. Uh, yeah, there's no soap, I yeah. think, there. And so, other than that plant, there's no furnishings in that guest bedroom. So, lots of houses have multiple bathrooms, but... This is a house that is not, nobody's living in, in this house. This is, this is a show house. All the lights are on, and we'll show you the flags in a second. But anyway, he's walking through this thing, telling you all about the house, and we'll put out a few more stuff right over here. Now, right over here, you can see some of the flags. Now, any of you have ever driven through these brand new housing communities, when you pull up into these communities, right by the front entrance, they have a couple of houses with some flags, and you can go in and take a look at the houses and see how they're... This is a model house. Let me go ahead and show you that first uh, flag right there. It's going to appear right around over here. You can see just for a second, there it is right there. And you'll see some more flags as we continue to move on. But nevertheless... Um, he's showing us some more of the rooms right over here. All the windows are completely open, yet all, the, all of the lights are on. But anyway, he's going to sit here on the couch, and there you go, you saw one more of the flag. And the flag poles, just so you can be sure, are inside of the fence. Because you can see this fence right over here, uh, how it breaks right around the flagpole. This flagpole is on the inside of the yard. Let's go ahead and show that again. And there you go. You saw some more of the flags. Now the next thing that he's going to show you is he's going to show you this television, which of course, uh, you know, is not turned on, but that's okay. Some people don't turn on their television sets. But as you can see, there's absolutely no dust here whatsoever. Um, you know, the, fur the furnishings, you know, the books are all kind of, you know, knick-knacky-ish. Everything is all perfect and all that. It, it, this is not a house that is lived in. Now let's go ahead and show you the dining room in just a second, which he's going to pan to right about over here. Now here, uh, the first thing that you want to point out is this brochure and a couple of other cards that are right here on the counter. Uh, unfortunately, even though I have it in widescreen, even though it's in HD, I'm not able to make this out. But this is obviously some kind of brochure that is handed out to prospective buyers. Uh, there's no uh, toasters. There's no coffee pots. The, uh, the microwave isn't plugged in. The stove isn't, uh, you know, because there's no clocks. These things have digital clocks, but they're not on. Um, all of the lights are on, yet, you know, it's <laughs> all the windows are open. There's no reason to have all these lights on. And there's no one with him there in the house. Yeah, that, the house is completely empty. Now, you've seen previous videos of him as he's walking around in these in, in his um, uh, his old apartment where he was spitting on the floor, in his van where he was spitting on the floor. If 
if this is genuinely somebody's house, they're obviously a neat freak. Why would they let a person who has a history of spitting on their own floor just be in their house completely unsupervised where they could just spit all over the place? <laughs> now, uh, where is the dining room table? Because this here's the kitchen. There's no dining room table. Uh, all you have for a house of this size is basically you have two chairs. You know, uh, but yeah, you got an outdoor patio, you know, and you got the living room right over here. And of course, uh, you got uh, some more shots of the flags right behind him. This is a model house. Nobody lives in this house. <sighs> now, here's the other thing that you have to ask yourself. The last time he signed in was two days ago, just shortly after this video was posted. Um, he hasn't been online since. If he genuinely had this house to live in, obviously with all this amenities and certainly electricity to spare, they would have internet access to where he would be posting stuff on the internet, probably attacking me. Um, you know, why has he not been on the internet? Uh, my theory is, is because he's no longer inside this house. Uh, I have one of two theories. Number one, uh, this was completely a ruse on his part where he just, you know, walked into some kind of model house, did the video, went on his way, or uh, Caesar Belarus, um, you know, set him up and basically called the police on him. Uh, which I certainly hope did not happen, but, you know, what are you going to do? But regardless, that is that house doesn't belong to anybody. No. That, that house does not belong to him. That house does not belong to Caesar Belarus. No. But nevertheless, uh, if anybody is interested in Caesar Belarus, uh, there will be links to the uh, channel. And you can see... The person that Caesar Belarus interacts with is basically a who's who among Spike Bravo's trolls. Uh, this is not a person that would be um, giving this person a place to live. And certainly not when you consider the previous death threats that this person has made against Spike Bravo. But that's all I have to say.